Hi everyone, this is Michael Guestford from ETS Vision. I'm an optometrist recruiter and I'd like to share with you some tips. Now, before I proceed with that, I'd like to talk to with you about the last series of tips that we shared with you. And they basically talked about being open to a variety of opportunities and locations to be flexible. This will help improve your earning potential for being an OD and an MD. Now that you've kind of opened your mind to being that more open and flexible, and you're thinking outside the box, as you apply to open positions, likely you're going to be hearing back from these practices either by phone or email. And that brings us to tip three. Return phone messages and emails quickly. It is very, very important that you do this in a timely manner, hopefully within 24 hours. A prompt response communicates to them that you are interested, you're engaged, and it's a courtesy as well. Even if you're not interested, it is still important that you reply back to them. I'll give you a scenario that if, if you would not reply back, let's just say. Practice A, you looked into it, you liked it to a point, but you didn't really reply. Practice B, you did. You really liked what you saw about practice B. Now things are going along smoothly, but something happens and practice B falls through. So if you go back to practice A, well, you kind of blew them off. They're going to possibly do the same to you. And now instead of having two opportunities, you have none. We don't want to see that happen. And another key point here is that these practice owners, they network with people. They talk to people. So they talk to other practice owners. So maybe if their practice opportunity is not for you, they may know some other practice opportunity within the same region that might be a great fit for you. But since you did not really treat practice A very well, they didn't respond, no communication, you don't ever find out about that. So we don't want that to happen. So now we're gonna to move to tip four. Tip four is don't overcomplicate the phone interview. That's very easy to do, at times when you just have a voice to a voice over the phone to try to just impress them with about anything and everything you can. But the main goal of that phone interview is to get the face-to-face -face interview. So don't make it too complicated and don't tell them everything under the sun. And never, the key key point, never, never bring up compensation. It comes across as if you're looking out for you moi and yet you're not looking out for the practice and that makes a terrible first impression on a practice owner practice owner wants to hire a doctor that wants to be i call it engaged with that practice that wants the practice to grow and be healthy and at the same time this doctor is probably going to be rewarded for that be prepared during the phone interview to share some uh, insights on how you work with patients uh, some of the uh, medical procedures that you can do, your, some of your skill sets. It's very important that you try to make that good impression and keep heightening the interest and also the value that you can bring to that practice. And that's what a phone interview, in my opinion, really does, is you want to try to whet the appetite of the value that you can bring to that practice that that owner is going to say, you know, I really think I should really meet with you face to face. It's always good to have a couple questions when you're on the phone with a practice owner or with a hiring authority. One good question is, what medical philosophies do you practice? Another would be to ask, what do you expect from an associate? And now to wrap up your phone interview, I think a good general way to wrap it up is say, from what you've told me, I'm, I would be interested in meeting with you and also seeing the practice. And then just wait and wait for the reply. And last but not least, one of the most important things you can do over the phone is to smile. It does something to your voice that will come across to that person on the other line. They can hear you smiling. And that is so key on making a really good first impression, especially over the phone.